Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the P47D and we're looking at the cold start. First of all, main fuel selector valve, ensure that the pointy end, which is that end there, is at main. So right click, right click, it's now pointing towards main. Next, shift the throttle about an inch forward. Next, check that the boost lever or the turbo supercharger lever is set to off. Note that it may be attached to the throttle if I were to attach it like thus. It would there be attached to the throttle so i'm going to ensure that is detached and move that into the off position next ensure that the mixture knob is to idle cut off which is already in that position there next ensure that the propeller governor this guy here is set to the most forward position next to the propeller mode switch here we want it in the up in the constant speed position now it's a little fiddly the way you work this knob is by moving to the left right or above it and see the cursor change and i'm going to go above it in this case left click and then it will go up into that position that's auto next ensure that the accompanying circuit breaker is pushed in and that is already pushed in there and at the same time we're going to check all of these circuit breakers down here and check that they're all pushed in and in this case, they are pushed in from the cold start. Next, fuel boost pump rheostat, which is this guy here, we're going to ensure that it's pointed at the start and altitude here. Next, our generator is going to go on. That's this guy here. So right click, generator to on. Next, if we're expecting dusty conditions, then our air filter is going to go on. That guy there, left click, right click, sorry, and there. Next, primer handle over here right mouse button to rotate and unlock and then press and hold left button to pump two three four five and the user manual suggests between four and six right click to re-rotate and lock over to the left and battery left click on ignition switch from off to both magnetos next we want to seat the starter motor brushes and the way we're going to do that is engage the starter motor just for a few milliseconds if you like now, at this point i would definitely suggest setting up a button or hotes command for the engage so like that i've just set the q key for the time being but you can set whatever you want in the adjust controls brush is seated the next part we have to do is a little bit complex or at least difficult to do i'm going to left click and hold on this switch here which will move it downwards to energize it for 15 to 20 seconds that will convert electric into kinetic energy in our kinetic flywheel they will then immediately switch and hold this switch to the up the engage position which fires the engine and we'll see the prop spinning at that point and you want to press and hold that now the best way to do that is like i said to bind a button to that so you can press and hold a button on the keyboard or in your hotas while the prop is spinning and cranking we're then going to move our mixture lever from idle cut off to auto rich to catch the engine so let's get that done left click and hold watch the clock three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17 crank and auto rich and we've caught it's a little bit awkward it takes a bit of practice that but you just need to do it quickly and everything in the right order next we're going to modulate our throttle until we've reached 900 rpm which just happens to be exactly how we've got it here so we can leave it there next we're going to turn our radio on this knob all the way clockwise which it already is which is good note this is a very powerful engine and it will pull you even at 900 rpm so ensure that you have your wheel brakes set and on once 30 seconds have elapsed we're going to check our oil pressure which is this guy here to make sure it's over 25 if it's under 25 then something's gone wrong shut down the engine if it's above 25 then we're okay for the time being next check the vacuum gauge make sure that we're between thresholds of that there and that there we're ever so slightly shy but it's so close that uh, i think we can get away with that while the oil temperature is cold which it is as you can see here the oil will be thick our oil pressure will be high we are not allowed to exceed 1000 rpm at this point until the oil thins and the oil pressure is between a serviceable range of about 90 and about 50 again stick between 800 rpm and 1000 rpm until our oil temperature here which is about 20 is above 40 degrees celsius i'll now fast forward so you can see the engine getting to within operational ranges 
And while we're working our way up to operational temperature, we're going to make sure that our engine cows, these kind of ring of cows around here, we can manually force open and close to ensure that our engine does not overheat. So we're going to use these controls to ensure that they're fully open. So if I press open, you can see them, the ring opening. Whenever we're on the ground, we have to force these fully open to make sure the engine does not overheat. My oil temperature is now within operational threshold. Our pressure is within operational threshold. Fuel pressure is good. And that's the end of our startup procedure.